hey property hunters welcome back to another amazing video trust me you don't want to miss out on this one this is a tour of Wims estate that is located in old harbor st catherine and we have some detailed information in this video um for those who are first time buyers what you need even if you're not first time buyers there are some golden nuggets within this video as our sales officer um, give us some detailed information on what is required, what are some of the do's, what are some of the don'ts. So I mean, you don't want to miss out on this video. But before we continue, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Remember to subscribe to stay abreast of upcoming development. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome back to another amazing video video as a matter of fact do me a favor we want to reach to 10,000 subscribers with, within the next three months can we do it I know we can guess what tell a friend to tell a friend to come over to this channel because we have some amazing news amazing details there will be more units available so you want to stick around and listen to the video on how to get on board right so ensure that you watch the video to the end tell a friend to tell a friend to come over to this channel we need to hit 10,000 subscribers within the next three months can we do it with your help we definitely can just tell somebody to tell somebody to come over here and subscribe remember to share the channel and together we can grow all right so um continue to listen to the updates that are given in this video so our first stop will be the sales office and of course to get to wim estate you go through um new harbor village um you go through the roundabout and um this is actually the direction to get to the sales office so in this video you will get a lot of information so ensure that you don't skip a beat ensure that you watch everything because we will be um doing a full tour of the scheme the different sections within um the the area and we will also be giving you some golden nuggets from the 18 minutes mark onwards so you don't want to miss before or after the 18 minutes mark so just watch the video straight through and ensure that you are prepared when the units become available okay. so residents will that's where residents they will go who are moving in now mm -hmm. will continue using this entrance mm -hmm. until until that road is um, fixed but you still have to come inside here to get to, to yeah you to still there. have to come through new Harbour village to security from New Harbour Village to Security Post. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the left. Mm -hmm. This road will take you to the second roundabout mm -hmm. in New Harbour Village 2. Okay. This is only for residents moving in now. Mm -hmm. So by the time the other block are ready mm -hmm. then the our entrance will be ready our proper entrance will be ready, ready. okay yeah. sounds good so at the 18 minutes mark and onward you will be getting some very important information of what is needed um uh, charges from the bank i mean there is just so much um great information in this video so ensure you are staying tuned until the end especially the 18 minutes mark onward you need to listen you have to listen to this if you're interested in buying a house we're coming up to the second road about in Yonga village too oh okay that's their prep school oh the there's right a prep hand. school in here yeah we will oh, have a basic there? school okay it's their prep school okay wow so all the kids there are from new harbor mm -hmm. or you have outsiders um uh, i think they have outsiders because i have seen the bus oh they have the bus where they pick up outsiders i was in my child here double safety yeah wow okay interesting don't you know that all right so this is the second roundabout Mm -hmm. So when 
this road is open already. That's oh. the road where residents will take. And this road will take you right on the main road of Old Harbor Bay, right in front of New Harbor Village 3. Okay. So it, you'll have a security post there, here? There will be a security post. Okay. There. So this will be the new security post for Wynn mm -hmm. Estate. Okay. But we also have our security post closer to the entrance. Post oh, There's got you. security posts. Got you. Yeah. We will continue from there. Mm -hmm. Come around the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty road. When the it's the a pretty road. road. <laughs> <laughs> the new... Then straight ahead, we're on our way to win. On your way to win. Once it's a pretty road, I know something excited. <laughs> yeah. Just reminding your viewers that on the left hand right here will be our it's a commercial reserve right now. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's look it. at the entrance. Welcome oh to my win. god. I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. What a nice thing, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. We have some residents who have already moved in. Mm hmm. Still in the handover process. Wow, yeah. quite a few units will be handed over this week. So. Okay. What phase again? It says block A. Oh, block A. Of phase one. Of phase one, okay. Nice man, it reached very, very far compared to the last video that we did. Yeah, the site is fully energized. Wow. Still in block A, right? Still in block A. Okay. Block A has 123 units. Okay, so 123 units in block A. So we're doing handover right now for the first 47 mm -hmm. units. Mm -hmm. And then we will continue with the other blocks. So now we will be looking at the units. We have two bedroom, one bathroom, and two bedroom, two bathrooms. So first, we will look at the two bedroom, one bathroom. Let's go. Happy oh, wow. Happy birthday. Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what? The two bedroom? This is two bedroom one. Two bedroom, one bath. To get by the lighting. All right, there we go. Just a reminder of the unit: two bedroom, one bathroom. All right. Your land space at four thousand five hundred square feet, a minimum. So, bedroom number one and the closet space 
I remember a subscriber asking about the closet. Yes, they do have closets in each bedroom. Then you have the door entering into the bathroom. So spacious, clean. All right, and then more storage and bedroom number two. And there is the closet space above. Water. <laughs> Water in the pipe. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Already have your water and cupboards. Nice. All right, breakfast counter. You just need to put your nice stool right there, and you're good to go. All right, beautiful. Or oh, the back space. Around the back. Alright, good. Alright, so this is the two bedroom to bathroom. Right, two bedroom, two bathroom, very spacious, nice color, peaceful, tranquil. Let's look again. Cupboard, nice, and then of course you have your sink and your pipe spray wash water already in. All right, and going in number. This is bedroom number one. Spacious, that's a closet. Space above, two windows. Got the roof, slanted roof. Which is good because when rain falls, it will easily run off. Wow, this one has a glass mirror and your shower, standing shower. Loving the fact that you have um, that half um, shower coming in, in terms of the, the coverage for the shower with the glass on top of it. And then you have. Lots of space for your towels, then your sink, and then you have a towel holder here. All right, let's get a 360 view of the bathroom, roof. All right, that's cool. So we are exiting bedroom number one. And before you get in bedroom number two, you have more closet space and also above you have um, storage space, rather storage. And then you turn here and it's bathroom number two with a tub, of course, still under construction. And you have your sink right there. Hip roof. And then we are in bedroom number two. Two nice windows, they have your beautiful curtains to put up. And then look outside, your land space, 4,500 minimum. And then a 360 view of bedroom number two. So again, Property Hunters, we are in Hold Arbor, exploring the beautiful community of Wims Estate. All right, so this is the, again, two bedroom, two bathrooms. Well, let's do a little walk around. So 
a little walk around the backyards. I'm looking at this space. Oh, the the um washing area around the back. So you get your wash tub. So you put your pipe there. walk around and of course seeing water heater on top of the roof and you have a little um side space right. so it's not too near to each other on both sides Now leaving the cul-de-sac of Block A. So still in Block A, right? Block all, of, all of this side is Block A. It's block A1. Oh, Block A1. Okay. A1 and 2, sir. This is A1. Mm -hmm. A2 is our one here. Oh, the, where we're we just coming from? The it's, okay, the cold is sack. Okay, okay. A3 are the ones, some of the ones facing here along the stretch here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's some blocked face, off? Yeah, it's blocked off, so we're gonna have to go. Right, no problem. So it will be a different entrance to go there? No. Or it's just because? Here we go straight through. Oh. It's okay. Because these units are being handed over. Mm -hmm. We block them off. We block them off. Makes sense. For more security. Over here will be phase two. Okay. So this is phase one. Phase one has four blocks. Mm -hmm. Block A, B, C, D. Oh. Okay. And phase two will have the other. No, no. Two or three on this side. Okay. You say like block C mm -hmm. um, early next year to be determined. www.wdc123.com click on application and there will be a notice there saying that block B is sold out would you like to get notified for block C so you would click get notified add your name and contact information so when we're ready or almost ready for block C we will send you notification of C awesome so that's early next year 2024 and um, you're advised on how to ensure that you don't miss out on this great opportunity by visiting the website right all right so and, when you do go on the website also note the application checklist um, which will be the pre-approval letter your eligibility letter from NHT mm -hmm. proof of deposit and closing fees your ID theory you will upload these documents with your application form and we will process in that order so if we click on your application after you've submitted it and we're not seeing the pre-approval letter nor we're seeing the documents that we asked for mm -hmm. we will move on to the next prospective buyer so it is important to get a pre-approval letter I mean January is just around the corner it may seem like 2024 is far but I mean it's it's just a couple months away so ensure that you're doing your background 
um, so you can get a pre-approval from the bank or NHT or wherever it is that you're getting your loan from because these units usually go really really fast I'll just upload one item and then call us to say why haven't you been approved because right. you did not submit the required documents. The documents so remind us again of what the list of documents are the pre-approval letter pre approval letter from your mortgage institution mm -hmm. the eligibility letter from NHD mm -hmm. Proof of deposit and closing fees, which can be a bank statement or you can do a screenshot of the funds in the account. We just want to know that you're able to pay once we've issued the invoice for payment and your ID, TRN. That's it. There you have it. All the list that you need to get to make sure you don't miss out on this marvelous opportunity with all these houses that are being sold in Wim Estate located in Old Harbor, St. Catherine. We're now looking at block A3 and A4. So we are hoping to have these units completed for handover by December. By December, okay. Yes. Block A3, A4, hoping to have the units handed over by December. We see a lot of activities going on, a lot of work taking place. And the remainder of Block A will be early next year, handover. Okay, so Block A will be early next year. Yeah, the remaining units. And then you'll have block C. And then block B. B, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which we will take a look at shortly. Okay. All of these along here, these are the two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Oh, okay. Oh, so all of these. One that is not, one that is not paved. Go on the bottom here. Mm hmm. All right, two bedroom, two. Two bedroom. Two bedroom, two bathroom, all of these. Is it actually feel cooler when the window down? You feel it? Up. It's doing the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine when these are finished and people put in the oh landscape my. and oh my goodness and people are very creative you know yes there's this open open lot right here this is um a green area oh and park green area and park nice right. so it separates you'll find one in between each block oh so this is block a block b okay. on that side block b around that side okay so we're still in block a and this is a this is A7. A7. Final, final block in block A. Okay, so we are now in A7, the final block in block A. Just want to also note and to remind purchasers that your pre approval letter expires after three months that's true so um, if you have a pre-approval letter now or before it might expire by January so you might have to reach out back again to your mortgage officer or get a current one yeah that is true <laughs> that is true so if you get a pre-approval no don't think that it is valid after three months you still need to get an updated pre-approval um, letter one that it is valid within the time that you are applying right. and I believe there are, there's one bank that only um, offers for two months oh wow hey. which way you want to go back aside or um, you want block C 
Um, block there's off? nothing really yet to see in block C. Okay. There's construction as it started as yet. Okay. That's block B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's start block B. Yeah. So a very important point was made that a particular bank, one particular bank only gives two months. So you need to look out for that. When you get a pre-approval letter, ensure that you look at the expiration date. Not all banks um, understanding um, give give three months. So that is important too. Also note, mm -hmm. you used to ask your mortgage officer about their closing fees. True. The development has their own closing fees. The bank also has a closing fee, so please, and it is not, it is not cheap. Not cheap. <laughs> you know, it's true. <laughs> that is, boy, I'm loving the fact that you're mentioning that because sometimes you borrow money from the bank mm -hmm. and you think that, hey, um, I'm just paying this over yes. to mm -hmm. the, the, the no. developer. No. But the bank charges you to process the fee and sometimes it's over a quarter million dollars. Over a million. Over a million dollars to process the loan. So you're borrowing from them and you have to pay to borrow from them. So you need to ensure that you find out what that processing fee is. Yeah. That is so true and I'm happy that you have mentioned that. Yeah. Very important. Very important. I have a lot of purchases when you when you, when you tell them that you know you have a million plus to pay the bank they're like what yeah so yeah that is out. true please get as much information as possible from, from the bank the, yes and also you have some purchasers who submit a nice pre-approval letter mm -hmm. and after they've issued it and uh, they are approved for the unit then they go back and they start spending oh yes <laughs> the credit <laughs> report when you go in to apply for the loan your mortgage officer will do another credit check true and then the 20 million that you were approved for you're no longer approved for it you're now approved for 15 mm -hmm. and that cause this person to miss out on, on the yeah. opportunity as well so that is true so if you get a pre-approval before and you had the money to show um, based on your activities um, then they will give you a pre-approval around that time but if you go and you continue spending and you increase the credit limit and you do all of these things then it may be that when you're going for your next pre-approval that the amount that you can borrow Will not be the same as they had approved you for before so be careful about that yes, be yes. very careful that's interesting yes. very 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 good nuggets you're getting <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to block b no we actually passed block oh we passed block b i thought we were going to block we're b <laughs> And when you come back, you have a better update for Black, Black B. B. You okay. can actually do a drive through, but there's no road there. To there's no drive. road there. Okay. Okay. Awesome. But some of the units are up already. Already. For Black B. Okay. Awesome. So we're back at the sales office. So this is the office that you come to to ensure that you sign, seal, and deliver your your um, transaction with Wim's estate. So we are now at the sales office and just to point out for block C that the price will increase for block C around 5% um, more than what um, the other units have been sold for. Okay, so another thing to note purchasers, um, once you've collected the package once you've signed the contracts and come back to the sales office to pick up your package for the bank, mm -hmm. your mortgage officer has 60 days to provide us with the letter of commitment. Please, please try and give your mortgage officers all the documents they need to process in time to avoid them asking for extension. The developer will give some extension, but some will be denied. So please 
follow up with their mortgage officer ensure that they're on target and um, work with them as best as possible to get your under your letter of commitment on or before the date stated in the agreement for sale all right all right so remember that the contact information will be in the description and if you're calling um, Nicole or Chanel and um, especially Nicole if you're not getting through on the number you can also leave a whatsapp message and she will get back to you now I think there are some important information that as a purchaser that you need to have now this is the model unit that we are looking at uh, which we have already gotten a tour of but just for us to give you some important information as a purchaser now um go ahead okay <coughs> all right wow. so some persons might be wondering what is included in our closing fees so i'm just gonna give you a rundown of what they are Mm -hmm. Alright, so purchaser's contribution to vendor's attorney for the preparation of the agreement for sale. You also pay one half stamp duty of the agreement for sale. So the vendor will pay half and purchasers will pay the other half. So what I'm listing right now is what the purchasers will pay. Uh, you pay for the service ID report. You also pay for a valuation report. You pay one half registration fee of transfer. You pay to the register of title for issue of new title. And you also pay cost of obtaining new certificate of title. Uh, purchaser's contribution to cost of incorporation of the homeowners association and the preparation of an owner's agreement. Purchaser's contribution to vendor's attorney providing letter of possession to the utility companies and TRI form and you also pay GCT for that. You pay water meter connection fee and uh, SCMC civic address application fee and last but not least contribution of 10 months maintenance fee so that's a breakdown of what your, your closing fee covers at Women's Day. Awesome and you know that every development that you're buying from has a closing fee so this is just to give you an idea of some of the things that um, the closing fee um, includes because some people don't know so this is a very important point important information that we are grateful to have the privilege to hear the breakdown of the closing fee so remember when you're buying any units at all you always have the the deposit and yeah, the the five percent or ten percent deposit de depending on the development and in addition to this this you have closing fees which we have just explained um <clears throat> what the closing fee would include so very important that you know about that information okay. please also note the closing fee is not deducted from the unit price only the 5% deposit or the 10% deposit is subtracted leaving you with the balance so the closing fee is not subtracted from it right so the closing fee is an additional cost to you so you need to find out what that closing fee is and then you add it to the amount of money that you purchased the house for is that correct? Yeah. all right beautiful here is a sample, I think this was the earlier phase, 5% deposit, so that means you will add the closing fee to, to this. Um, Alright, so for this one, the unit is for 18 million, 
five percent deposit is nine hundred thousand, mm -hmm. leaving with the leaving you with the loan balance of seventeen million one hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So this is what you, you would apply for, mm -hmm. but the closing fee is separate. Oh, and see it right here. So for right example, so it's five percent deposit plus the closing fee will give you this, this figure. figure. And right here is the closing fee. Yes. That you would normally find separate from the cost right there beautiful all right so these are what are some of the amenity in this development community center convenience center sports and recreational facilities clubhouses own water supply with three deep wells you don't have to worry about lock off and a basic School. Wow, I love that. Love that. Will I be able to use the NHE contribution to finance this these houses? Definitely. Can I add my mom or seven year old child to the title? Wow, absolutely. And if any of you are a cash buyer, he or she must have a Jamaican TRN for mortgage applicants. All applicants to be registered to the title must be employed and is part of the financial institution mortgage process now how do you apply we have explained that and here this is the website all right so the website www.wdc123.com then click the application tab ensure you have your pre-approval as stated earlier this is very very important Will all the units be the same as the model units? Yes, the units are being sold as is, which means everything that is viewed in the model unit. And remember, you have two bedrooms and one bathroom um, units available. All right, so the model unit is a two bedroom, one bathroom, but you do have two bedrooms, two bathrooms. All right, what is the house and lot size? Um, residential housing units to be offered at whims will consist of two floor plans designed as i mentioned two bedroom one bathroom configuration two bedroom two bathroom and the development will consist of lot sizes of a minimum of 4500 square feet and of course if you're buying a larger lot that will come as is usual with an additional cost all right block b sold out Block A sold out and block C get ready, get ready, get ready. Block C coming soon.